Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah and Casey here. Welcome back to another weekend series. Today we have a really fun and exciting new thing for you. Today we're doing a staff spotlight, so y'all get the pleasure of learning a little bit more about Casey Grice here. Each week we'll be doing a different, we'll be doing a different staff member. So be on the lookout every Wednesday at 10 a.m. That's what we're doing. We're doing our staff spotlight. So we have about 10 questions here for Mr. Casey Grice. So are you ready to get to know him? So Casey, our first question is, tell me a little bit more about what your role is at the TRP. Uh, so my role at the Therapeutic Rec program is mostly with leading and developing programs. I should have said assisting, my apologies. So I assist the different team members, Felicia, Mark, Sarah, with any programs that they're in charge of. And then I'm also, I also have the free reign to kind of make up programs that I want. So based off of my interests and interests of participants, I kind of develop programs for the different seasons that we have. Um, and hopefully people sign up and have a good time doing them. And then also over summer, I am responsible for our Teen Scope program. I'm our coordinator for that. I'm responsible for picking up supplies, taking it to different sites, running weekly staff meetings with our directors at each camp, and then just kind of float around each site, assist where I'm needed and help out all around. Very cool. Second question, Casey. What is your favorite program that we offer and why? Oh, easy one. My favorite program is definitely our drum beats program. I love putting in just so much energy behind it. I'm sure you guys have seen our videos and I just love just getting out there, grooving, flailing my body around like no tomorrow. I just have such a great time and it is fun now doing it online, but it's so much better in person. You just get to see everyone kind of working so hard. You can see like the wheels turning on like maintaining a beat and staying focused and our participants just work so hard and uh, from the first practice to our performance, I just love every single day. That is also a personal favorite of mine. So moving on, what is your favorite memory from the TRP during your time there? Mm, my favorite memory. Mm, well, about two summers ago, I believe it was two summers ago, we went to the YMCA Camp of the Rockies, Retreat of the Rockies. It's out in Winter Park. And there was one night where the group of us was just looking up at the stars and like you could feel like the moment that was happening as we're all staring out in the stars. And I believe it was Mark who kind of asked the group, he goes, guys, how many stars do you think they are? Like, doesn't it just look so amazing? And one of our participants started to count <laughs> one by one, every individual star. And in that moment, I just started dying laughing. I just was such a great moment. Everyone was just laughing, just smiles all around. It was, ah, it was such a great moment. <laughs> Very cool. So what made you get into the field of therapeutic recreation? Um, well, I started back in my hometown of Batavia, New York, shout out mom, um, <laughs> with our Challenger sports program. So it was adaptive sports for youth with disabilities. We did sports like tennis, baseball, soccer, and I believe bowling was the final one, kind of like a pre-Special Olympics kind of thing. And I assisted with that. I volunteered for probably six, seven years. And one of the leaders there, named was Shelly, actually told me like, hey, this is a real thing. Like you can go do this as a job and told me all about therapeutic recreation. So I looked all throughout it in the state of New York. And there's actually only about seven colleges that have the program itself. So I went to a local school about 45 minutes from my hometown and took up the degree of therapeutic rec. Sweet. Go TR. So moving on to some maybe more fun questions. What is your favorite animal? Oh, my favorite animal definitely has to be a penguin. I love how they walk around. I just think they got that like little style swagger going, cute little bow ties going with their, <laughs> but, uh, they're just such cute animals. I think they're so awesome. Okay. So next question, if you could be an inanimate object, what would you be and why? An inanimate, inanimate object. Like a stapler? Uh, I wouldn't want to be a stapler, but if I could be any object, I would be, I would be a fireplace or like a campfire something that like people like gather around and like share good stories and share good memories around. 
I don't know. That's the first thing that came to mind, but I'd be a campfire. <laughs> that's a great one. If you could have anybody play yourself in a movie, who would you pick? I would have to say Chris Pratt. Have you ever seen Parks and Recreation? I think like Chris Pratt Parks and Rec is very similar to me, kind of like really goofy, but can like be serious at the same time. We kind of have similar qualities. I'm definitely a way harder worker than he was in that TV show, but I think Chris Pratt would definitely bring out the best of Casey Grice. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Name one fun fact about yourself that maybe no one else knows or not a lot of people know. Cool. Well, fun fact, well, it's not everyone kind of knows, but it's cool for this month because as you guys know, I've been growing my hair out for quite some time. And as of April 27th of this month, April, it will be two years since I've cut my hair. So it is quite the commitment I have made. Getting ready to cut it soon to donate it, but um, not a lot of people know that it's been this long that I've had it been growing. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Casey Grice. Last question. Very important oh, question. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would you choose? One food. A specific food? Or are we talking food group? Food. Oh, gosh. I would probably eat Doritos. I could eat like nacho cheese Doritos every single day. That's more of a snack. But if I'm talking like food items, oh, gosh, like a meal. I would go chicken parm. I do love me some chicken parm. So that would definitely be my everyday meal. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys, that wraps up our staff spotlight for this week. So stay tuned next Wednesday at 10 a.m. to see who else we get to interview. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>